Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Pisces love prediction reading for August 8th through August 14th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled. I'm always grateful, and I'm always thankful if you decide to give me a, a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, empathetic kind sweet loving pisces show me spirit guides what's going on with my fun empathetic loving kind sweet pisces show me what's going on with my pisces spirit guides show me let's see pisces what you got going on let's see page of swords queen of swords Four of Swords, uh-oh, Pisces, Seven of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. You know, Pisces, when you go looking for something, you find it, right? And that's exactly what you did. Here's this page of Swords that's leading your reading. You spied on someone. Someone here in this the beginning of this reading is you were spying on them. You either looked at their Instagram or uh, you looked in their phone, something. Because Page of Swords can be a card of communication. But when the Queen of Swords is right next to it, that means, uh-oh, something happened. You found out something because here's this Page of Swords leading your read. It's all about communication, all types of communication, any type of communication, everything from like I said, looking in a phone, uh, looking, uh, reading text messages, um, uh, looking at Facebook, you found out something. You went looking and you found that you got to be careful, be ready for what you find. But here's a page of sources next to the Queen of Swords. That's how I know you found out something. Because the Queen of Swords is no joke. Queen of Swords is my itch card. The Queen of Swords says, I, oh no, you didn't. <laughs> I mean, really, the Queen of Swords is that card of that energy of um letting someone just straight have it direct up front no gray matter in between it's this way or the highway i'm not gonna have it you're done with this mess that's exactly what you told somebody because here in the middle of your reading is the four of swords and that's my breakup card that is my breakup card four of swords you're taking a time out you're contemplating something you've seen something you you saw it you told them about it and now you're breaking up. You're, this is a timeout. You're taking a total timeout on this relationship or this person. Because guess what? They were unfaithful. They were unfaithful with the Seven of Swords. This is infidelity. This is someone that was unfaithful. Unfaithful. And you know, for you even to be looking into their phone or any other thing, this is not the first time that they've been unfaithful or been cheating or infidelity. And I don't know what the problem is. But they have been unfaithful, they have cheated, but you have decided you're not taking it any longer. Now, here's what's interesting. Next to this seven of swords, I see the will of fortune. The will of fortune is about karma. But whoever this person is that's cheating, their karma is not good. The will of fortune is there. They don't have good karma. Their karma is not good because they have not put good things into the universe. So the universe is not bringing them good things back. And they wonder why all heck is breaking loose in their life. Why they can't get it together. Why they're always unhappy. Because this is someone that is constantly cheating. You caught them before. That's why you went looking for it again. So let's see. If this is your read, please take a moment. Give me three to five minutes, please. Because I want to see what's going to happen with this situation. Give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify the cards. Let me see just what the spirit guides want you to know about this situation or this person. Let's see. Why is the page of swords here? Show me. Just sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify. Why is this page of swords here for my Pisces? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the page of swords here for my Pisces? 
I have the two of pentacles. This is a juggling of emotion because it's almost like every time, every time you forgive them for something, they come back and do something else. So you almost have like a love hate relationship with them. Every time you get to going in the right direction, you find out something else. It's like, my goodness, they just don't appreciate me. There is something. So there's always a juggling of emotions when it comes to them because they just, you feel like that the energy that they give out, you're not quite sure what day or how it's going to be. You can't trust them. So there's a love-hate relationship here. Let's see why the Queen of Swords is here. Show me why the Queen of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Oh, you got the King of Swords. The King of Swords. That's the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. And I'm going to tell you. To me, that's never that's never good. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, these are people that that dwell in that that um, are toxic sometimes, that hurt each other, um, because the King of Swords uh, loves from their their head rather than their heart, and the King of Swords is is unrelenting as well. The King of Swords um, is is someone that is more mental, and the Queen of Swords is very direct. They can be a little bit toxic to each other. But this is both the king and the queen of swords. So whoever this is, you guys have somewhat of a toxic relationship going on. So let's see why the four of swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the four of swords here for my Pisces? Show me spirit guides. Why is the four of swords here for Pisces? You have the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles. You wanted this to be a give and take relationship. That's all you ever wanted. You wanted to give and receive the love. You wanted to give the love to them and receive it back. But instead, there was always something. There was always that fear of them cheating. You never were able to get to that point with them. There's always been that fear that fear of that. But you wanted a very balanced relationship too. When I say you wanted balance, you wanted to give and receive. And you wanted to give them and receive the love back. But in, But somehow... There's a breakup because there was always cheating or something that someone just did, couldn't get it together. Let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Why is this cheating card here again? This betrayal card. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the betrayal card here again? You have the Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius person. Could be any Zodiac sign, but Temperance does represent Sagittarius. But the Temperance card is here. The Temperance is all about intimacy. And you feel like they have betrayed your deepest intimacy. I mean, intimacy is more than love. Intimacy is being close with someone. It's a close relationship with someone. They have betrayed you. Not just with the cheating, but just you feel like your, your innermost being, your innermost heart. They have betrayed that this time. And it's just because you have given them chances and... You went looking. Yes, you did go looking for something and you found it and you're like, wow. So they betrayed you um, with this intimacy. They betrayed you. So let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Show me spirit guys. I have the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is about an energy of a, a new beginning, can be a new beginning. But it's also about an energy of intimacy too. And like I said, I think they just betrayed you with the intimacy, but the Ace of Wands is there to possibly show what was going on. There was something missing here. Intimacy um, wasn't there possibly. Or maybe just the intimate part as far as your 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 lustfulness for each other, your intimacy with each other. Possibly that's what the problem was because the will of fortune is here. And the will of fortune is not moving in this person's favor. And I'll say that again because they cheated. They have been betraying you. But there's a problem with intimacy. There's a problem with um, possibly um, having relations with them. There's a problem. So let's see. Start from the beginning. You went looking for something. Either you saw something and um, something told you your gut into intuition. You, you went looking for something. Whether it was in their phone. You saw it on Instagram. You saw a private DM. You saw something. And this was like 
reiterate why you still have a love-hate relationship with them. That two of pentacles is on top of there. And that two of pentacles means that you juggle back and forth between love and hate with them. Um, because they just can't seem to get it right. Just can't seem to get it right. Always something. You're afraid to trust them. You're afraid to give your heart to them anymore. Because here you are the queen of swords. And the queen of swords is very much a, a direct energy. Black and white. There is no... <laughs> When it's that's my itch card, hey, it's nothing nothing you can say. When the Queen of Swords is fed up, you know, my song, when a woman's fed up, they're fed up. And you're fed up with this situation because this is not the first time. But also it's the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So you guys are toxic for each other. I don't know what has happened, but this is a toxic relationship. Here's a Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords means that you're taking a time out. You're taking a time out, basically a breakup, because all you ever wanted was a... A relationship that was a give and take relationship, a building relationship, a, lo a loving relationship between two people. But here you have betrayal. And they have betrayed you. This is not the first time because I know that because you wouldn't have been sneaking and peeking again. There's something in your gut told you to go look. So this is not the first time. But here's a temperance card here. It could be a Sagittarius person. But like I said, could be anyone. This is a general read. But temperance is here, which is intimacy. And they betrayed your intimacy. You were intimacy your closeness with them it's like how do you ever get close to someone that does this over and over again but the will of fortune is here and i say this again that's not moving in their favor because here's the ace of wands there's something to do with intimacy and relations with someone that is not working out it's just not working out it's something to do with intimacy and relationships um is not working out with this person Something is going on with them. So um, let's see. Let's see. What do my angel oracles have to say to you? What do my angel oracles have to say about this relationship? Let's see. What do my angel oracles have to say? Well... Get my cards together. Huh. I'm not quite sure. It's like I can't I don't know what they're what they're telling you, what they're trying to say. I really don't know what they're trying to say to you. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna gonna um gonna see. I, I'm gonna show you. I'm going to say, um, based on these cards, uh, these are the different cards. I, I pull transformation. I pull take a step back. And I'm going to go with take a step back. And that's what the universe and that's what the uh, spirit guides are saying. Take a step back, which is what you're doing with that four of swords. Take a step back. Get it together. Figure it out. Figure out what you're going to do next because you can't keep going like this. That's what I have for your love prediction reading. Pisces.